All right, this here is part two or three of the 93 Kawasaki Bayi 300 four-wheel drive project. See, I think I got this uh, Saturday. Or no, I got this Friday. It's now Sunday. I had it running last night or yesterday. No, shit. Today's Sunday. I got this running. Yeah, I got it running yesterday, which is a Saturday. Sorry about that. Uh, didn't have spark when I first started messing with it. Jeez. Uh, yeah, fuck it. What I did was is I took jumper cables from this SUV, ran it to the quad. I had no lights, nothing. And the only thing I did was I just ran a negative cable to here, ran the positive to this one, didn't do anything except for spark. Missing the solenoid and the wiring to the solenoid. I figured out that this here white wire, if you run positive to it, this is what feeds a wiring harness. So my guess is this here would get ran to the positive battery cable or it would go to the solenoid on the battery side. So I'll put a connector on it and I'll probably run it to the starter solenoid on the battery side. What I mean by battery side of the solenoid is you got battery side and starter side. You got one cable that comes from the battery and then you got the other cable that goes to the starter. So I'd be running this to the battery side. This here powers my wiring harness. After this wire got power, my neutral light came on. Headlights came on. I then had spark. So I sprayed a uh, starting fluid down the carburetor and pulled the ro pull rope a couple times and it started up. It actually sounded decent and didn't blow any smoke at all. Like I was, I was stunned. Um, I ordered a new old stock solenoid off eBay. Hopefully it'll be here in about a week. Um, I'm gonna go get new uh, cables. The battery I took it home and I tried charging it. It says it's full, but it's got no nothing in it. Um, I'm gonna get a new battery. Got a new solenoid ordered. I got a air filter kit, oil filter, new spark plug and oil ordered for it. Um, Still got to do a little bit of wiring work. Uh, got to get connectors for these, and then I have to. This here goes to the solenoid, I think. I know one of them should be the keyed hot, or the. It would go to the S terminal on the solenoid. One of these here should have power when you hit the start button. So I got a little bit more electrical to do. But uh, while I'm waiting for the engine servicing shit to come in the mail and solenoid, next thing I'll be doing is taking the carburetor off, cleaning it out, replacing the fuel filter and fuel line. Um, really like to take it to the car wash and power wash it, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. I mean, eventually I'd like to replace all the brakes on it. It does have disc brakes in the front, but it's missing the calipers. The uh, brake master is bad. I have to replace those. I'm going to replace all the brake cables. The reverse cable needs replaced. Choke cable needs replaced. So my ultimate goal is just to get it to where it'll run and ride. And then I'll come back. And replace the tires well obviously I want white wheels there's white underneath these so I'm gonna peel these tires off sandblast the wheels I don't know if I'm gonna get them powder coated or just rattle can them white but uh 
later on it'll get all new tie rod ends, ball joints, wheel bearing, hub assemblies. Um, it needs an output seal for the front drive shaft. Um, front diff will get taken out, rebuilt, new seals, new bearings. Probably vapor hone the uh, front diff covers or case. And then rear end will eventually come apart, get all new seals, bearings, sandblast all the metal or the steel parts. Probably vapor hone the diff cover case, diff case. Replace all the brakes. Um, yeah, like I said, for now, just, I want to get it put together to where it runs and rides. A uh, couple weeks, I'll start sanding the plastics down. Sand them the best as I can and then buff them. I do have the fuel tank cover that covers this and then the front cover. I got those at home. I started sanding on them. I didn't have time to finish them, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I think this here is going to be like the first project that actually goes right. Well, obviously, that dirt bike there. Shit, I can't remember what it was. I think it's a 77 or 79 or something. Yamaha DT175. I got this in a trade and tore the engine out, tore the engine down, and... <laughs> haven't had time to mess with it. I hate when I do stuff like that. But that'll probably be uh, this winter's project. And this one here is just going to be the continuous project. Work on it as I go. But uh, started the title recovery process. Hopefully, getting the title for this will be a lot easier than it was for that bike. Um, You know, when I did the title on that, I wish I would have started the title process on that hell of a lot earlier than what I did. This one here, I just got this three days ago, and I already started the process. It's going to be kind of cool, you know, get the title in the mail for it and have actual ownership for it. But, uh, then the fuel gauge, it's obviously freaking broken. I haven't been able to find any reproduction or replacement ones yet. All I can find is used fuel tanks and their fuel gauges, you can't even really see them. So I guess I'm not really too worried about it. I mean, can I just pop the cap off and look in there? And my phone's dying. Gotta love that. Yeah, this is as far as I've gotten. I uh, start my new job tomorrow, so I won't be able to mess with it a whole lot until weekends. Oh yeah, these Meyer uh, covers, they're coming off. And it's got uh, heated grips. Don't know if they work. I'm not going to mess with this wiring, so those will come off and I'll get uh, Kawasaki grips for it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, really wasn't that much wrong with it. Uh, Old, the guy said, the kid said he was using it for his plowing snow. He shut it off one day, came back out to use it, wouldn't start. He couldn't figure it out. And yeah, like all I did was, is I ran power to this white wire with jumper cables and neutral light came on, headlights came on. I then had spark. So apparently this white wire is kind of important. So. And I did some research. Apparently, these are the stock size tires in the rear. So, I'll definitely replace the fronts in the near future. Rears will be the last ones to get replaced. But, uh, hopefully, towards the end of this week or this weekend, I plan on cleaning up the garage a little bit. So I have freaking room. Like there's this place is just packed with spare parts. Like spare hoods, cow hood for my blazer, which I never put it on. Jeep axle, explorer axle, because I was gonna straight front my uh blazer or bravada, and then plans changed. 
shelf full of parts, VCRs, old TV, my RC boat and plane. It's miscellaneous shit. Yeah, like I said, I plan on getting it cleaned up in here. And what I'll probably end up doing when I have all this shit moved and bye-bye, gone. I'm going to end up moving the quad over here under this light. So I have room to actually work on it instead of making all my videos to where like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do today. No. <laughs> yeah, that's it for this one.